Why up in my welcome back. News Hub can reveal St John is drawing up a new agreement with Health New Zealand after it let a national MP ride along on emergency call-outs. The ambulance service has also been had a telling off for allowing Dr Shane Reti into hospitals without its permission. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. Ambulances are the emergency front line and for 19 nights a politician was riding along. I wanted to get a sense of what the front line was like after dark. National MP Dr Shane Reti is a practising GP and was officially an observer, mostly with St John. Reti's ride-alongs covered emergencies from Whangarei to Invercargill. But actually seeing it with my own eyes, that was, goodness, that was something. And Reti's eyes saw it all. Did you go into people's homes? Yes. A woman in labour? Yes, as I recall. Drug overdoses? Um, there were a range of, um, of conditions. Reti also observed mental health assessments and the aftermath of a suicide attempt. There are concerns he saw too much. Some people wouldn't be able to consent, for example, if they were intoxicated, uh, mentally ill or unconscious. Nicole Morham is a privacy expert and also has concerns. If you call a doctor, you do so because you think they're there to assist you. Not, you don't expect them to bring somebody who is there for some ulterior purpose. Do you know that every patient gave informed consent oh, to you so, being um, What I would say is uh, I fully understand and respect the patient confidentiality. Reti also went into emergency departments with St John, but without the hospital's permission. Health NZ has given St John a scolding, telling News Hub some providers of ambulance services have, with good intentions, hosted MPs to come visit some of our facilities without informing us first. We have reset expectations with providers. Hatu Hone St John refused to be interviewed about this, but said in a statement it's now reviewing its policies and procedures about observers, which it says it does regularly. Health New Zealand and St John are now also coming to an agreement on how to manage ambulance observers. Amelia Wade, News Hub.